The relentless vilification of Prince Harry by certain segments of the UK media and public is indeed a disturbing phenomena that raises serious questions about the state of journalism, public discourse, and the role of the monarchy in modern Britain. The madness of a kingdom when truth becomes treason. In a land that prides itself on fairness and decency, a bizarre spectacle unfolds daily. A prince born into privilege but dedicated to service finds himself the target of an unrelenting campaign of vilification. This is not a tale from medieval times, but the reality facing Prince Harry in the 21st century of Britain. Prince Harry, a two-tour combat veteran, founder of the life-saving Invictus Games and co-founder of the impactful Archwell Foundation, has become the subject of a perplexing national obsession. The very nation that should celebrate his achievements seem hell-bent on tearing him down. What other country would allow, let alone seemingly encourage, such a sustained attack on one of its own? What other monarchy would stand by as a member of the royal family is subjected to daily character assassination, what other government would remain silent as falsehoods and half-truths are peddled as news? The irony is palpable. A man who has dedicated his life to service, from his military career to his charitable works, is painted as selfish and attention-seeking? A person who has openly discussed mental health struggles is mocked and berated for seeking help? A father who wants to protect his family is accused of betraying his country. This is not just about one man or one family. It's about the very fabric of a society that allows this to happen. It's about a media landscape that prioritizes clicks over truth, sensationalism over substance. It's about a public that seems to have lost its ability to discertain fact from fiction, compassion from cruelty. The silence from the palace and the government in the face of this onslaught is deafening. By allowing this abuse to continue unchecked, they become complicit in it. They send a message that it's acceptable to bully, to spread misinformation, to destroy reputations for the sake of entertainment or political gain. In what sane world does a country turn on one of its most compassionate and genuine public figures? In what rational society is a person's dedication to mental health, veterans' welfare, and charitable causes twisted into something negative? This is not just a failure of journalism or public discourse. It's a failure of leadership of basic human decency. It's a stain on the reputation of a country that claims to be, well, claims to have values and fairness and justice. The treatment of Prince Harry should be a wake up call. It should prompt soul searching about the kind of society Britain wants to be, the kind of media they want to consume, the kind of leaders they want to follow. Because a nation that can treat one of its own in this way, Prince or Piper, 
has lost its way. It's time for Britain to look in the mirror and ask, is this who we really want to be? Is this the legacy we want to leave for future generations? Because right now, the picture is not one of a great and just nation, but a country consumed by pettiness, driven by sensationalism, and seemingly incapable of recognizing true service and compassion when it sees it. The insanity must end. For the sake of Prince Harry, for the sake of his family, for the soul of Britain. Thank you.